That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Thanks. So now we're going to actually do real trivia. So I'm going to draw a number here. And this will be for a Richard fan, a friend of mine. He scores a lot of music. <laughs> He's a really awesome dude. And he donated this uh, CD of uh, a lot of his like work. So we're going to give away an autographed CD of Richard Van. And if you don't, don't know who Charles Van is... Well, you shouldn't be here. Puppet Master. There you go. Yeah, Puppet Master. Well, that's just one producer. Anyways, all right, get your ticket out. 988. But you got to answer a question. <laughs> Come on down. Where are you? All right. <laughs> so in the meantime, I'll draw another number for a horror of Beach Party. It's an original comic from the 60s. And that number is 960. Yes, you do. No, it. Think, well, then you can give your ticket to somebody else. And if they answer it correctly, then they can give it to you. Or you can work something else out. There you go. All right. I'm totally going to get this wrong. Maybe not. Yeah. Find the hardest question to get for you. These are all full moon questions right here. Oh. I'm going to use, it's just one. All I have to do is just get one right. Before winning an Academy Award for As Good As It Gets and four Emmys for Mad About You, Ellen Hunt starred in three installments of what well-known full moon film series? If you need help, come over here. No cheating. Okay, sorry about that. Not cheating, it's just help, right? Starts with a T. With a T? All right, who? All right, transfers it is. <laughs> but here, give this to him. Oh, oh you got to walk it over. <laughs> All right, who got the uh, other ticket? All right, for a beach party. We're going to do a Star Wars question. All right. This man received a medal from the U.S. president. Or actually, George Lucas won a medal from what U.S. president? For outstanding achievement and improvements in technology, movies made by a special effects company, ILM. So, what president gave him an award? No. 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 All right. So, who do you know? Is it, was it Reagan? No, he just said Reagan. That's not how it was. All right, so I'll ask you another question. It was George Bush, believe it or not. George W. Bush. So, you're not going nowhere. In a scene cut from the Katina sequence, Han Solo has a woman in the booth with him. With him, so it was a scene cut in the casino. You know when he's like talking to Guido. Well, he has a woman in the booth. What was her name? Guido. Anybody know this? No. It was Jenny. Jenny, believe it or not. That's what IMDb says. <laughs> All right, here's a really hard one. Code name for Hoth Base. From Empire Strikes Back, the last word is yes, yes. Thank you very much. Give this guy a round of applause. <laughs> there you go. All right, the last thing for this series, uh, a friend of mine, Jeff Carlson, he writes amazing science fiction. He's out in San Francisco. He does this uh, series called The Black Plague Wars. But this is his new book, and he signed it, and it says. Right here, a tale of darkness, ice, and fire. Enjoy, Jeff Carlson. All right, so <laughs> who wants this book, damn it? Come on up. All right, I saw your hand first. The 
gentleman over there, Mr. Carlson. Believe me, won't you read this book? It's awesome. It's great. I love it. All right, do you know your full moon stuff? I've heard of it. All right. Let me see. Oh, two-time Golden Globe nominee Demi Moore's first starring role was in what movie produced and directed by Charles Band? Fiction film. It was in 3D too. Yeah. Start with a P. No. Oh. Uh, it's something that you get on your body. It's really annoying. And it sucks the life out of you. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Parasite. Yes. Awesome. Uh, all right. It came from our space. So put your 3D glasses. Can you see my 3D shirt? There, see my trainee shirt? It's the Gorilla Biscuits, one of my favorite bands. <laughs> yes. Right. I'm right. So if it's all screwed up on the screen, then you have your uh, 3D glasses, just switch them around, so. All right, but first, may the fourth be with you. It's Star Wars Day, everybody. Woo! It is comic book day. Woo! That's why we have comic books. And we're going to do a really awesome Star Wars thing on film for you. It's about seven minutes of Star Wars amazingness. All right. So, John, are you ready up there? Yes. All right. I'm going to kill the lights. Once the lights are killed, you know what you got to do. But then right after the Star Wars thing, i got to take a little break because i got to reset something. All right. Bye. It's not a break. It's like it's going to be dark in here, so be very careful. And don't go anywhere. It's going to take one minute. You have to turn the cans off. How do I turn the cans off? <laughs> yes, gotcha. <laughs> 